Okay, this is my entry into the uh, the Mountain Sense Crevasse Safety Course. So yeah, my victim down there. It's a weighted roller cart, um, and then tied off to to me. I have my figure eight on a bite in the middle of the rope. There's my loose strand and my anchor, which is made in between two uh, tires. I'm gonna try and fiddle with this thing as little as possible. Okay, so I have the, the weight of my victim is on. What I'm going to do is use my anchor, clip into that same loop that I was clipped into, then lean back until the anchor is weighted instead of myself, at which point I can disconnect from my victim. Now you said you wanted an extended master loop so I will be coming down here to get a little bit closer to my victim extending my master loop which then requires me to use less rope in my recipe ignore the tractor sounds in the background um, let me bring you here with me so we all can see what I'm doing okay so master loop right there extended master loop now I am going to I'm going to take my micro traction make sure that I'm beneath yep, right beneath I will take my micro traction rig the rope vertically through that swing her in clip her in and now I'm going to disengage the teeth and walk that down to my victim. When I get down to my victim, I'm going to clip this into the victim's uh, waist loop. Tail end, back up. Boom, right back up. Wonderful. So progress capture is on. Here is the fall line that they are connected to, to the anchor. And here is my rescue line. I'm now in a position to use that um, micro traction as a two to one and use my Superman stands to pull them uphill. So that will be, let me aim this up. Hopefully everything is in the correct angle. Over the shoulder, around the waist, and I'm going to stand. Hand comes back, takes the slack out, and down again. Stand. I'll do three stands. Three. Wonderful. The micro traction has grabbed all that loose rope, but we can see in my weighted end now that I have some slack accumulating. So to make sure if the teeth disengage that my victim does not fall once again, I'm gonna tie this overhand. I sort of instinctively tie eights, but that is okay. Cool. And then now I'm going to build a three to one. I think that's in frame. Back to my master point. I'm going to take my loose end and run that baby through like that. And then I'm going to use a tib lock to establish my three to one. All right. Keeping note of where everything is, I need to come down on this same line. So it's going to be orange towards the victim. Clip in right there, like that. This line shoot through. And now I have my three to one. I'm gonna make sure that that's in frame. Cool. My three to one here using this tib lock. So I'll walk the tib down as much as I like and then pull this baby up. See the cart moving uphill. 
There's one. I can go ahead and get a pretty big pull in. Walk her up. There's two. I'll do a couple more since it fell over. So again, we're gonna walk the tib lock down, take out the slack, walk this baby up. With a three to one, that means that for every three feet of rope in this system, I'm only gaining one foot of capture or ascent on my, uh, my victim. So that's important to note. Come down as best I can again. Let me walk it up. Cool. And then same deal as before. Now I have a lot of slack in this system. So I can bring all that together. Make sure it's slack. It comes after this loop. There we go. Boom. Tie. Overhand. That's not an overhand. Boom, overhand. Now the progress is captured again, and my victim, if they need, can grab on to my rescue loop. So, I believe that was all the skills that we needed to cover. It's an extended master point. Uh, setting up a progress capture, using a two to one, using a three to one, and tying in um, uh, a grab loop for the victim.